Oh, this is, this is gonna be fun. This is sponsored by iBuyPower. And when I heard that they have a brand new water-cooled gaming system, I assumed that it was gonna be astronomically expensive. Like they're kind of known for, you know, shipping you a gaming PC that's about the same price, sometimes even a tiny bit less than what you would get for just buying all the components and building it yourself. So I kind of assumed when I heard that they had a water cooling thing that they were going to just like, this was their margin PC, but turns out not really. It starts at 1600 bucks and goes up to 2200 and that's for like pretty much the fastest gaming computer you can buy. So it's pretty sweet, let's get into it. Oh, it's a box in a box. Unboxing number two coming right up. Oh, cool. Okay. So normally when you're shipping someone like a hardline water-cooled PC, it's an absolute nightmare for kind of everyone involved because like if it moves a little bit in shipping, then maybe one of the tubes will kind of come out of it and then it'll start leaking and then you turn your computer on poof, and like she's dead. No, no good. So we have this presumably acrylic tube, maybe P T G. I'm not, I'm not sure. And these fittings here that are kind of like, it's like what you'd find in your house or just general industrial quick disconnect sort of stuff. That's definitely not coming out. That's like most of my weight. I, I don't want to do more because I'm afraid that this handle is going to pop off. So let's see what else we have in here. Got a power cord. Can't take those for granted. Several SATA connectors for if you want to upgrade your storage down the line. Got your standard motherboard standoffs, hard drive screws, that sort of stuff. Great for if you need to upgrade in the future. Driver CD, no one's gonna use that. Oh, this is like my favorite, but also the most stressful thing to do. Oh, yes. I buy power Zeus E2. As for the keyboard though, it's fine. It's an Embryon keyboard, it does the job. On to the main show here though. Actually, let's turn it around to see it. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. So this is the iBuyPower Element CL. And let's take a look. We clearly need to take some foam out before we start it up. So the average, you know, hardline water-cooled PC that they said takes about four or five hours to build, and they wanted to get that time down to one hour. Have the exact same tubes for every single different layout how they've been able to do that is by actually having adjustments in here for height up at the distribution block over here and also like the exact socket placement on the motherboard right here you're able to move the whole cpu block you now sort of in this direction about half maybe three quarters of an inch up here you have a little bit of adjustment to go up and down so they're able to use the exact same tubes for all of their different layouts. It does look like though that they'd be using the same tubes and the same placement for all of their GPUs. So presumably they're able to overcome that with just using the same block placement right here. Just gonna peel this off. So normally what you'd see is like CNC acrylic, so probably one piece that's cut and another one that's flat and you smash them together with an O-ring. All of that's really expensive. So what they've done here instead, they have cast nylon. So they do plan, if there's interest, they will do a full acrylic version for probably about a hundred dollar premium, but this seems like a pretty good compromise to me. Biggest compromise of all though, this is an aluminum water cooling loop. So, you know, radiator, CPU block, GPU block, all made out of aluminum. This allows for them to greatly reduce the cost of the whole thing. It's not a perfect solution, but again, when I've said like the $100 premium edition, that would also have copper blocks in it. So that would be kind of your maximum performance Great one. Let's open the back. Well, if you ever want to add something that has Molex or SATA, they certainly have you covered there. This though is not a modular power supply. I believe that this one's 700 watts, so more than enough power for your whole system, but you are going to be a bit constrained by power if you want to upgrade in the future. So if you look in here, 
there's these little tabs, and if you press those in, this will presumably start coming off. So there's the tempered glass panel. And then is there an acrylic panel below it? Wait, is that glass? I have a bad idea. Don't tell them, but. Okay, yeah. Confirmed, if that was acrylic, it would now have a mark on it, but it's tempered glass. So they, they've made, I'm guessing some sort of a gasket that goes all the way around on a tempered glass panel for the reservoir. That's actually really cool. And now we're able to see the fill and drain ports. So fill ports just right up here if you wanna top her up. Then there's just a little drain port here on the front. So right here, final water cooling thing, we have a D5 pump and you're gonna wanna pump a lot of water in here because this thing's gonna output some heat. So we've got an Intel i9-10900K, NVIDIA RTX 2080 Super, and two G-Skills Trident C, I think it's 32 gigabytes. And finally, a one terabyte SSD. Losing all of my screws. Okay, Andy, let's just... We didn't lose that screw, no one knows. Warning, please read instructions on removing the foam insert before turning on this computer. I didn't read the instructions, but we did take out the foam, so I think we're fine. Turns out that they actually chose a motherboard that doesn't have onboard Wi-Fi, as far as I can tell, but they included a little Wi-Fi adapter for you, which is nice. Is that magnetic? Oh, that's fun. You can just magnet where, well, the whole front isn't magnetic. Oh, ha ha. The screw saga finally comes to an end. I hope it's super RGB. I really like super RGB things. Cause like, you can always turn the RGB off, but if you don't have RGB, you can't turn it on. Oh, <laughs> it's RGB. There's just a tiny bit of RGB where the water flows in. So you're able to see all the bubbles. It kind of hits those. Not my best peel ever, but that one was pretty good. Oh, actually there's more. Nice. Oh, double nice. Uh, the risky peel down here. So we're here in Doom Eternal on 4K, ultra nightmare settings, and we're getting what, 100, 120 FPS, somewhere around there. Overall, I would say this looks fantastic. Again, it's one of those things where it's like, wow, whoever would have thought that a $2,200 gaming computer would work well. But at the same time, that's a lot cheaper than most of the stuff that we have around here. We do need to check to see just how well the thermals are doing. So, so wow, not bad. The CPU maximum temp so far is 52 degrees. Uh, GPU, let's go down here. Da, 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 da. Maximum temp on the GPU is also 55 degrees. Now it is going to get hotter, like we've only been gaming for a couple minutes. If you leave it for half an hour, it's going to get hotter. But at the same time, even if it like gets 20 degrees hotter, you're still in really good shape. You can purchase the Element CL Plus as a pre-built, or you can completely custom configure it at ibuypower.com. Check them out and get all the information at the link below in the video description. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you to iBuyPower for sponsoring this, and yeah, get subscribed to this, Linus Tech Tips, and so long. I'm gonna keep on playing some Doom here. Uh, oh geez, oh balls, this is bad. It's fine, it's fine.